Hey everyone, Ryan Lilly here with Old Town. I am super excited to congratulate this year's Bassmaster Classic champion, Russ Snyders, dude. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Appreciate so, it. I would love to hear about the last two days and your experience. Uh, you know, we had weird weather. Um, it was really hard for a lot of anglers to put up some some numbers. You you ran away with it, and I would love to just hear about how it went down for you. Uh, yeah, I had a great time out on Lake Chickamauga. It was some really tough conditions. Uh, we had really low water levels too. Uh, cold, rainy day the first day. Uh, it was a grind and it was a struggle to stay warm, but I didn't get a lot of bites, but I, the ones I, I hooked uh, stayed on and I was throwing a big seven inch Bass Mafia, the new Zell Dangerous swim bait. And, um, and yeah, so it was a grind the first day. I had a good solid limit though, anchored by a, a big 22 and a half incher. Uh, second day, you know, started off pretty fast and furious. I got three in the first half hour. I'm like, all right, it's on. And uh, maybe another hour went by. I got my fourth. I'm like, six hours. I just need to get one more and I'll at least have a solid finish. And uh, just hour by hour, it just kept going by. And then at about two hours left, I'm like, all right, I got it. I'm, I'm, I gave up on the swim bait and just fished completely new water. Went to a little backwater and uh, caught one on a, a red crank bait on a laydown. Just barely hooked in the corner of the mouth with like 20, 30 minutes left to go. Wow. And I, as soon as I got like, thank you, God. <laughs> <laughs> I was pretty fired up. I knew how significant that fish was. I didn't know if it was going to win it for me, but I knew it put me right up there and give me a chance. So, you know, Chickamauga is a part of the Tennessee River. It's dammed off. You've got a lot of back waters you got a lot of uh, streams that pour in you've got current you got backwaters where, where were you focusing your efforts uh, and, and how did it pay off I was more on the main river um, and you know my theory was that area had a few backwaters that are typically pretty good but with the water being seven feet down as it was I feel like it pushed a lot of those fish out of the backwaters and put them back out on the main river there uh, so there was a little bit of current uh, and there was quite a few stumps that were either just poking out of the surface or just underneath the water uh, some of those I had to just kind of mark as I was pretty fishing the ones you couldn't see out of the water and I just tried to throw that swim bait you know and, and hit as many of those stumps as I could uh, a lot of times if you can kind of hit the sides of them it would be better than roll, trying to roll it right over the top uh, i was throwing it on irod genesis 3 it's a seven foot eight as the junior swim rod with 20 pound cigar fluorocarbon uh, and i was throwing that swim bait on a 10 aught owner beast hook uh, as a half ounce at what point did you realize I've, I stand a good chance of being in the top 10. When I got that last fish, I was just had a couple other big tournaments this last couple of years where, where I ended up one fish shy of like having a really solid finish. And I was like, oh, not this again. But, uh, but this time it worked out. I just tried to stay focused and, uh, and just tried to stay open-minded. And I wasn't, I didn't even throw a red crankbait pre-fishing or tournament and just I'm like, all right, it feels right. Let's try this. Try, I tried all sorts of stuff, but that's, that's what caught the fish. That's incredible. And uh, just so you all at home know, the top 10 are alerted the night before, and you have to sit on that yeah. and just sit there and wonder and, and try to get a good night's sleep before you get onto the stage and really see how it sifted out. Yeah. To explain the emotion, oh, yeah. uh, the emotional was, roller coaster. I was a nervous wreck for sure. I knew it was probably between me. I kind of knew where most people stood, but there was a couple people that didn't have cell phone service and with the kayak tournaments, we, we submit them through our phone on an app uh, through Tourney X. And uh, so they didn't submit them until after the, the leaderboard got shut off. So I knew it was a couple people unaccounted for. I figured I was going to be right up there and had a chance. And to uh, come out on top is feels amazing, yeah. Dude, I can't congratulate you enough. Where are we going to see you next? Uh, what, what are you, you going to do the rest of your tournament season? I'll be at Lake Hartwell. That's coming up in a couple weeks. Uh, I have a little bit of experience there. I've been, been there a couple times, and it should be a great time of year to be there, um, especially if you want to focus on largemouth and fish shallow, which is what I like doing. And uh, can't wait to get that one started. That's awesome. And uh, any any sponsors, anybody you'd like to thank? Yeah, I'd like to thank my sponsors, uh, Wilderness Systems. I fished all week out of a uh, Wilderness Systems Attack 120, uh, Dakota Lithium Batteries, uh, Torquedo, Yak Attack, Music City Outdoors, uh, Catch Outdoors, and I'm forgetting one. But it, well, How about if people want to research you? And IROD. Okay. Uh, anybody want to follow you? Uh, how can they find you? Uh, just follow me, Russ Snyder's. Uh, Russ with one S, R U S. Snyder's, S N Y D E R S. Uh, Instagram or Facebook. Awesome. Well, congratulations, 2022 or 2023. Yeah. Bassmaster <laughs> Classic Champion. Russ, we can't wait to watch the rest of your season. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it.